Well, good evening, everyone. Well, uh, I thought I recorded the uh, the Bible study from last night, but apparently that did not work out. And so I'll tr I'm just going to try to make it short as I can, uh, maybe under 10 minutes. And so uh, last night we read uh, the book of Sarar, chapters uh 11 to 15 and there's a lot of jam-packed nuggets in this book and I believe that the Holy Spirit is is really teaching me how to discern uh, this book and, uh, and and there are a lot of truths in this book now do I believe that this is this book is scripture maybe um, I believe personally that, you know, when we dive into different books, we also we get to uh, have discernment. Uh, but this book was not written by, the, by you know, it's not, recommend, it's not um, recognized by the Protestant churches, which is understandable because, you know, the Western mind is different from, from the from the for the people of the Jews or uh, the Hebrews and so uh, so if you can go ahead and go read the Sarah chapters 11 to 15 on your own I'm not I'm not gonna reread that it's just way too much uh, these and downs but uh, next we will get into chapters uh, 16 to 20 but and furthermore um, the first thing that, that really pops in my mind is that the gifts of the Lord endure for those who are godly. Uh, godly. And over and over again, we see more positivity to live, to live godly than being ungodly. Okay? And we know for a fact that this book has uh, a lot of the fear of the Lord. The phrase, the fear of the Lord repeated so many times um, we know for a fact in in the book of Proverbs uh, we see that the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and so these things correlates to the book of Proverbs and in the book of Sarach and it, it really is a fundamental part of living like a spiritual Jew and and it really you know the the gift of the spirit is is for those who are godly. It's for those who are spirit filled, and that it is by the Holy Spirit that we live by His grace. Secondly, you know, um, sometimes we gotta keep words to ourselves and be very very watchful. Uh, Sometimes it is very, very crucial to watch what you say to other people, either even if even even if your relatives, even if your families, because they will try to do whatever you can to stop the plan of God in your in your life. So you got to keep your words to yourselves. Um. And, and I remember my life coach always tells us, you know, different scenarios. And, um, man, it is, it is, it is really eye-opening that, that God allows me to see this portion of scripture that, 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 you know, the Protestants don't believe this is scripture, but it holds a lot of truth. It holds a lot of truth. Because we know for a fact that people are very deceitful. People like to deceive you to believing that they ha you know they can hold on to your words, and then they will talk back behind your back and having some plans to destroy you and destroy the pl and to destroy the future that God has given you. Um, and so it is it is very very crucial that that we need to be watchful we need to be careful of what we say and thirdly 
the man who fears the Lord. Over and over again. The fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Lord is a essential part of our lives. Because without the fear of the Lord, we have no respect of God. We have no respect of Him. We have no uh, respect of, of, of humanity. And it is... Uh, Sad to see how how God really treats treats us, or or how Satan deceive us, and that he he wants us to be so 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 destroyed that we can't get back up up from our feet, you know. But those who fear the Lord shall keep the straight path, shall shall walk into to that narrow way, as the Scripture says. And so, and so the fear of the Lord is a is essential part of our walk with the Lord, no matter what stage you're in. Fear the Lord, keep His commandments, always, always obey the Lord, no matter what. Conclusion: These verses are very, very powerful to think about it, you know, to ponder about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. May God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.